Meteorologist Chris Haddings here. You know if you see my face. Could be some rough weather on the way. I have a few concerns as we head through the holiday weekend. Start by taking a look at the first one. This will be Saturday into Sunday. This is uh, fire weather. You can see the whole area, Idaho, this goes all the way out to the eastern part of Wyoming as well, under a red flag warning tomorrow. More possible on Sunday as well. That would be mainly across southern Wyoming. Go to our web address here, weather.gov slash RW1 details on this. A lot of specifics here. You don't want to see my face for 10 minutes talking about these individually. I wouldn't want to look at me either. And with that, could be some very hot temperatures as well. It's been very warm the past few days, but heat should probably peak on Saturday. These are all time September high temperatures for these locations here. Sorry if I didn't get your location in there. Many places getting up in the 90s and even Warland. Yeah, it's 100. They could clip to the century mark. And some of these, I believe, uh, the Riverton Airport as well as Casper and Rock Springs just set these last year. So we could have two years in a row of all time high temperatures in September. However, as Bob Dylan said, changes they are coming. Ugh. I really got to stop singing. You can hear the cats whining in the background. In any case, this is the high temperature change. Now, this is from Saturday through Tuesday. We will have a gradual drop in temperature Sunday and into Monday, but the real shock to the system is going to be on Tuesday. You see temperatures between these three days, anywhere from about 30 to 40 degrees cooler across the north. Further south, yeah, that's 50 degrees colder from high temperatures from uh, Saturday into Tuesday. And these could actually be a little bit colder than that since the models a lot of times don't capture uh, cold air masses coming in during that time frame. So colder weather coming in, some moisture coming in, you know what that means? Now you're saying, don't say it's snow. Well, we could have some accumulating snow for Monday afternoon, especially Monday night to Tuesday morning. That includes some of the lower elevations as well. You could see some snowflakes flying through, maybe some accumulations. However, asking me for numbers, it's still way too early for me to try to put specific numbers in here. Models still have a little bit of disagreement on the placement of the heaviest precipitation. It will be a fast moving system as well. So just keep that in mind. We should be able to fine tune that over the next couple of days though. So as we sum up the details, critical fire weather, the main concern over the weekend, especially on Saturday for most of the area, Sunday across southern areas. Record high temperatures, again, heat peaking on Saturday. Above normal temperatures continuing to Sunday as well. Transition day is going to be Monday, strong cold front coming in. And Monday will have rain, then rain changing to snow as it spreads from north to south across the areas that front drops southward. Again, could be some snow in many areas, amounts still highly uncertain. We should have more details over the next couple of days to fine tune that. Another big story here with those much colder temperatures coming in Monday night to Tuesday. If we can get some clearing on Tuesday night, could get down to 20s in many areas and could put an end to the growing season for places even in the lower elevations that are normally warmer spots. So you want weather information, go to weather.gov slash R-A-W. Road conditions, wireroad.info. Again, don't call us for road conditions. These are the places to go. On the phone, you're in state, 511, out of state, 1-800-Y-O-Road. And for webcams by route, let's go to our web address, click on local programs, then go on webcams by route and get to see lots of cool webcams from all over the area. Be safe, everybody, and have a great holiday weekend. Several concerns coming up here, as you see, 